Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new weapons that was just added into Black Ops 3. I know that's pretty crazy. And also the pictures that Treyarch has tweeted out as a form of teasers for us. But before we get into the video, I'd just like to say if you do enjoy this video and want to see more stuff like this, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the bell icon right next to that so that you don't miss a future upload with that out of the way. Straight on in to the video. So a couple days ago, there was the first image that was released and that was the by 10 system image thing, whatever it's called. I don't remember at the moment, but it was a image that Treyarch had retweeted, uh, not retweeted, but tweeted to another person saying in Treyarch we trust and he and Treyarch posted a we give this tweet a 10 out of a 10 and posted this image basically confirming that there will be a 10 system for our create a class system in black ops 4 which is one of the key features of any call of duty series obviously except for world war 2 but never mind that because that isn't really the best that a call of duty can be the next thing we're going to take a look at is in fact the new weapons that were added into the game the first one is the sten don't know why honestly we have no idea why they added this into the game but still it's a weapon nonetheless and obviously whenever treyarch comes out with a new weapon it's always pretty good except this one is okay it's not the ideal weapon to be using by the way all the gameplay footage that i am using comes from cod ghost so shout out to cod ghost he's an amazing youtuber and does a whole bunch of multiplayer stuff so if you want to go check him out then go ahead and i'll leave a link in the description down below next the weapon that we're going to be taking a look at is a weapon that was brought back from black ops and that's a special LMG called the RPK. Now it looks exactly the same from Black Ops, except one thing the textures are updated. I know, I know, it seems groundbreaking, but the textures are updated and a lot brighter and cleaner. So that is about the only difference of this weapon, and it still rips enemies to shreds so if you manage to get this out of the supply drops just make sure to use the hell out of this thing because who knows they might nerf it in the future which would kind of suck next thing before we get into the main one that you saw in the title and the thumbnail is we're going to be taking a look at the black ops 3 new event the black ops 3 new event is called operation swarm don't know what caused Treyarch to put this in and don't know why this is in. Maybe it's it's probably something to do with Black Ops 4. We just have no idea. But a couple days ago, Treyarch added the first, I guess, sneak peek, which was a calling card of a bee shooting a gun in front of a honeycomb background. And now, obviously, we have the actual event. And basically, it gives you a whole bunch of new stuff, including a, I guess, the new map, which is Nightfall Fringe, which apparently is before Fringe in Black Ops 3. So, it's Fringe before Fringe was Fringe, like before everything was finished and also nighttime. And a bit of rain, somewhat. Also, what with this event is you get special camo, it's a limited time honeycomb camo for your weapons same with all your specialist gears there are special honeycomb styled gears that look exactly like uh, the honeycomb weapon so pretty interesting how what this event is and about and i don't honestly don't like the camos but that's just my opinions tell me your thoughts on this in the comment section down below and same with the new map nightfall friend now on to the very last topic for today and that is the perks that treyarch tweeted out and they tweeted out saying don't worry we know some people which has its perks which is a clever little joke 
and underneath they supplied an image of a whole bunch of perks and I mean a whole bunch I just mean four they supplied four perks for us to look at basically confirming that from before people were saying that black ops 4 is not going to have any perks or score streaks or anything that will resemble a call of duty game so Treyarch is basically saying hot in your face we got perks so don't worry about that now I'm going to pull up an image that I edited over basically trying to figure out which perks are which. We're going to start with the top left and move down. The first one I'm guessing is kind of like a mantle fast or fast mantling like in World War II with the airborne where the longer you run the faster you sprint and you're able to climb over things a lot quicker. Obviously the next one is pretty much like fast hands or quickies from infinite warfare or even speed cola from all of the black ops series the hyena it, it i had a tough time between if it was stalker dead silence or scavenger but it, or even tracker maybe somehow scavenger i wouldn't really know because that's normally a bird so i kind of ruled that one out and same with dead silence or silenced movement it doesn't really fit the theme with the hyena so it was either stalker or tracker which is kind of basically the same thing and last but not least the final perk down here is of course the well-known lightweight perk which lets you move faster than you normally would with all your equipment and weapons and all that and then they have the extra slots like you'd normally see when uh, you're picking your perks out for create a class. And on top right, don't really, not sure what they are. They're joker cards or wild cards. Basically the same thing, but also completely different. So that was my thoughts on all of this. So currently right now, I'm pretty sure that Treyarch is getting like, they're just getting a whole bunch of controversies out of the way and saying like the pick 10 system is here so don't worry about that there will be a create a class the black ops perk system is also here so don't worry about that we have yet to see if there are score streaks and if there are score streaks then we obviously know that or if they reveal score streaks from twitter then we obviously know that they are doing this sort of thing or you know we could just wait till the community reveal which is Two weeks away from to yesterday, not today, yesterday. So tell me all your thoughts in the comment section down below. Are you excited for Black Ops 4? Are you excited what they're going to do with Black Ops 4? And are you happy that they finally added the RPK into the game and the Sten into the game? And <laughs> this is a lot of things, but and are you excited for the new event that Treyarch has put in Black Ops 3 so that we keep playing until Black Ops 4. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did like it and want to see more stuff like this then go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the bell icon right next to that so that you don't miss a future upload. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.